Hello, this is Don Shank with Red Hat Developer. We're talking about the Developer Sandbox, the OpenShift Sandbox that Red Hat Developer offers. This is a cluster to which you can have free access for 60 days, um, after which you can renew that. So it's not like you're limited to just 60 days. And inside that cluster, you can follow activities that we have to build software, build microservices, get databases up and running, things like that. Things you're gonna wanna know for Kubernetes and OpenShift. There are two other videos that explain that. But one of the concepts that Kubernetes embraces is what's known as an operator. And today we wanna to talk about the operators that are available within the OpenShift sandbox. So what is a Kubernetes operator? Kubernetes operator is what Kubernetes calls a custom resource definition, which is just a fancy way of saying some code. And what it does is it will implement a technology and kind of, how can I say, watch it and keep it going. For example, there might be an operator that allows you to uh, connect to a database. So, so all the API calls and things that you need to know to do that are encapsulated in the operator. Meanwhile, the operator operator will run and make sure that that, that instance stays healthy, so to speak. So you can do more web searching on Kubernetes operators. They're really cool. And at Red Hat Developer, we have resources to show you how to write operators if you're so inclined. But there are, there are so many of them out there that you can use. One of the things about the sandbox is you cannot install an operator because that requires administrator level access. And think about this, if we have a cluster with a thousand users, let's say, we can't just give everybody admin rights. Uh, and that's okay, because that's how it's gonna be in the real world. If you have Kubernetes or OpenShift as a developer, they're not gonna give you admin rights, unless it's your cluster. Uh, but if you're on the company's cluster, so to speak, there's gonna be admin level and you're gonna be given certain rights. And that's okay, you know, we can operate in that. Developers, that's, we're used to that, right? Let's look at some of the operators that we do have installed in the Red Hat OpenShift sandbox. So as I scroll around the page here, I'm not really seeing anything. Like, where are they? Well, I'm gonna go inside my instance of my cluster. This is my dashboard. And what you see here is uh, an activity that I have that's that I did yesterday. So you're just seeing that. But over here on the left, you can see where it shows developer and I can also click administrator. So you do have some admin stuff, I'm gonna say, rights and visibility. And if I click on operators, there's no option to install an operator, but I can see which ones are installed. So let's take a look at that. So there's, uh, I don't know how many here, there's 15 at this time. We're always looking to add more, but let's take a look at some of them. So the AWS controller for Kubernetes, this allows you to access a database you have running in AWS from inside your cluster. And it makes it real simple. By the way, I'm not gonna go through all these. I just wanna give you an overview. Here's a, co a cockroach DB. So that's a NoSQL database. The Crunchy Bridge to the Crunchy database. Database access operator, this is instead of just the first one was AWS specific. This is more general to almost any cloud-based database. Uh, here's, here's a good one, MongoDB. So you have an operator to set up and run Mongo. That's good. I mean, I, I'm a fan of Mongo. That's a good database. Here's Red Hat OpenShift application services. So we have all these services that we make available to OpenShift. And with this operator, you have access to them. You have Cloud Surfer. Here, look, here's Kafka Connection. So if you want to connect to a managed Kafka instance that we allow, that we offer, you can use this operator. It's already built in. We have a data science one. So who doesn't want to, nowadays data science is a big deal, right? And we have web terminal, uh, which allows you inside your, da your dashboard in the browser to get a terminal session that's running inside your cluster. And the service binding operator down here at the bottom that's a really nice one because that allows you to connect things, services to your services without having to do a lot of coding. For example, the managed Kafka uses the OpenShift uh, service binding operator. And well, the way it works is described in one of our activities. I'll let you look for that. Finally, the OpenShift serverless operator is a very popular one. So that's based on Knative. And this allows you to take your application and pretty much just click on it and say, make it serverless. 
and it encapsulates it, if you will, with inside of Knative serving. And if you're not familiar with serverless or Knative, basically what that means is the application runs when it's needed. And after a time period, let's say five minutes, it will quiesce, it will scale to zero which means it's not using CPU, CPU cycles, which means it's not costing money. So that's a good one, right? So we have these operators available. We're always looking to add more, uh, but for now, there's plenty of you to get start, plenty of operators for you to get started and start building applications. So hop on over to developer.redhat.com, get your cluster access and get started today. Thank you.